This video is sponsored by Audible. I'm moving out of the workshop and uh, moving is always weird, but we have run into a little bit of a problem that I don't really know what to do about. I don't know if you remember, but a while back I did a sponsored project with HBO and Westworld, and I built a Westworld replica of myself and I named her Sim 2. Sim 1, Sim 2. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference at the end of this. And after the shoot, we just did not know what to do with Sim 2. It really felt like trying to dispose of a dead body. So I like rolled her in some tarp and hid her in my garage next to the water heater. But then I got so terrified that one of my neighbors was gonna find her. And then she lived under my bed for a little bit. So when I moved into this workshop, we hid her here. And unfortunately, it's gotten to a point where we need to pull her out again. <clears throat> Do you think she's angry with us? She's been above the entrance of the workshop all this time. It was the only place where I could hide her, where I wouldn't risk somebody seeing her. I considered leaving her here, but then I was really worried if there would be new tenants and they would for some fucking reason climb up here and then they would just see like a foot. <laughs> Marty, don't look. You don't want to see this. So we've gone through a few different options. Get rid of her, like to a dump. Offer her to somebody as a gift, but like really make it like, hey, I've been thinking about this and I really want you to have this. Or send her to a fan, but she has like an anatomical vagina. And also at some point, I think I cut off her nipples because she wasn't wearing a bra and it was just like through the fabric. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I forgot how heavy you were. <laughs> well, at least she's out now. So I think her old pajamas are is it pajama or pajamas? Yeah, I think her old pajamas is in here. Ooh, here's my Westworld hat as well. It's like a high school reunion. Pants. I'm thinking that we'll like put her clothes back on and then we maybe take her out for like the last good day. Similar to like a dog that you're taking to the vet to put down. And then we take her to the dump. There's a lot of blurring that's going to be required here. Don't make eye contact. Oh, I didn't cut off her nipples. I just taped them up. <laughs> so she's like a medical doll. Even if we wouldn't have bought her, she wouldn't have had that fun of a life, you know? She had a good start. And then I pushed her down a hill. <laughs> this is, there's just no good way of doing this. Maybe putting some like really happy soundtrack on top will make it seem less gory. Look at that! As good as new. Okay. Do we pack up her painting? So during the shoot, I had her paint a picture or like a landscape. Oh, here it is. Look at that. She didn't even go to art school. <laughs> Should we take her outside or is it too weird? <laughs> I should really have taken off my hat before putting this on. of carrying her. Look at that, the sunshine. People, it's a whole world out here. Beyond over the door. Oh. <laughs> so 
We had a little bit of a pant malfunction. <laughs> Oi! <coughs> Hi. Hi! Don't ask! Does she look like she's having a good time? to go to the dump? Yeah? Let's go. Santa's going to. I think we give away his face to somebody on Patreon. That's a good gift. You gotta keep your pants up, okay? trip. You're gonna go live at a farm. Lots of animals there. You can play with them. I think this is the last thing we need to get rid of. I mean we've been getting rid of so much stuff but I think this is the last big thing. She had a good life. Santa did not have a great life. No. I just cut his face off because the idea was to have a security camera in his face. I thought that would look funny but then I never actually ended up using him as a security camera. Sorry, cut your face off for nothing. At least I didn't cut his nipples off. Again, the fact that this is your redeeming quality. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is a horrible person all around, but there was that one time where she did not cut the nipples off of the medical doll. So I guess she's all right. Here? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're gonna charge us by the pound? So that means they're actually gonna look at it. I thought they would just give us like a private room and be like, throw away what you need to throw away. No judgment pass. <laughs> kind of like a fertility clinic where they would just leave you in a room with a cup. Hi. What's uh, A medical doll and a fake Santa. A fake Santa as opposed to a real Santa. Is that Bismarck? Yeah. I never seen one like that. It's a custom. We built it. I mean, there's public disposal. It has to be there, right? We're the public. Mm -hmm. Look at that, they have so many stuff, the things, they have a robot. Maybe they'll just take her. She could live here happily ever after. Hey, Hello, sir. We have over here. A medical doll and a, a Santa. If you want to give her a new home, you're very welcome to. They do. You see the yellow platform over there? Yeah. Yes, put it over there, all those toys. What did I, was this not reusable items? Oh my God, we're getting to put her in reusable items. Oh, I'm so happy. Why am I actually genuinely happy about this? Where do I put her? Oh, take good care of her. Bye. I guess me disposing of some two will have to suffice as a metaphor for me leaving this workshop. I drive down to LA tomorrow to get the keys and I'm so excited but I'm not that excited about the drive, but sponsor segue, something that definitely makes it more enjoyable is listening to audiobooks. So this video is sponsored by Audible. I have been listening to Ninth House, which is this moody, magical murder mystery and a riveting reprieve from reality. I appreciate alliterations, all right? If you're into fantasy, I can definitely recommend it. And I listen to audiobooks when I'm driving, while I'm cooking, while I'm cleaning, while I'm working on jigsaw puzzles. It kind of feels like 
putting ketchup on your pasta in the context that I really love ketchup. Because you take this like bland activity and then you put on an audiobook and suddenly it's so much more enjoyable. So Audible has easy audiobook exchanges, rollover credits, and you get to keep your audiobook library forever, even if you cancel. Go to audible.com slash Simone or text Simone to 500-500 to get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial. That's audible.com slash Simone or Simone to 500-500 to get some ketchup on your pasta. I am so not gonna miss traffic outside of the workshop because filming is like constant starting and stopping and I'm like freezing so I don't have to restart the sentence. But yeah, I guess this is the final thing I'm doing here in the workshop. I think we named it the Yetch Patch at some point, which didn't really catch on, but Nickname or no nickname, I have really loved the space. There's so many things that have happened in here and so many memories. And yeah, I guess this is my final San Francisco. Okay, bye.